Hello, this is Indoshare's Mr. Create and Mr. N. Uh, we, uh, Indoshare is the one-stop solution channel for your investment decision. Mm -hmm. We provide business model, uh, market analysis, and quarterly report summary for you. Yeah, for your investment for decision. You. Yes. <coughs> so today, uh, we're going to talk about the Green Power Modern Company, Inc. It's listed in NASDAQ as uh, its ticker is GP. Uh, it basically uh, uh, manufactures battery electric bus. Uh, it was founded by uh, uh, Fraser Atkinson, uh, as you can see in the uh, left-hand side. Um, uh, it was founded by, uh, I mean, it's, it was founded in 2007 and listed in NASDAQ uh, just a couple of months ago uh, in August last year. And it's uh, the flagship product, it's, it is EV Star, as you can see in the right-hand side. Uh, the business model. Uh, the company designs, manufactures, and distributes all electric buses, including transit buses, shuttles, and double-deckers, uh, which are uh, run by batteries, and it emits uh, zero carbon dioxide. Um, uh, the company also, uh, I mean, produces uh, the cars uh, by, uh, and, and, Global suppliers are pro providing the key components to the company. Uh, for example, the drive motors uh, are provided by Siemens and TM4, and dash, and dash control and systems are uh, produced by Parker. And of course, the competitors for this company are electric vehicles manufacturers, such as Tesla, and traditional motor vehicles manufacturers, uh, including GM and Ford. Uh, for this company, uh, the industry outlook uh, looks pretty much promising, mm -hmm. as U.S. President-elect Joe Biden uh, uh, has uh, plan uh, plans to, you know, uh, build a sustainable, uh, clean energy future for, mm -hmm. for the United States. And as you can see in the screenshots, uh, I, I I pasted it from the Joe Biden's homepage, uh, claiming uh, what 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 he uh, has to say about the clean energy uh, policies. Um, and also, uh, I, I think this is pretty much in line with the clean energy policies and um, those uh, vehicle manufacturers that are uh, Buy America Act compliant and the Altona test certified are eligible for um, FTA, the Federal Transit Administration of U.S. funding, of up to 80% of the capital cost of a transit vehicle, uh, which means that you know they they get the subsidy from FTA uh, for uh, for their production cost, and uh, the claim uh, the company uh, has claimed that uh, its flagship pro product EV Star has been Altoona certified and by America Act compliant. So they are accessible to federal incentives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is cheaper for our customers. Yeah, yeah, for, for consumers. consumers. Yes. Uh, as for the market analysis and finance analysis, um, I, I also took a look at the market outlook for the electric bus market. Mm -hmm. uh, according to Allied Market Research, I didn't pay for entire research fee, but mm -hmm. just, just the introduction in part. Mm -hmm. They said the electronic, electric bus market will grow from like $17.95 billion dollars from mm -hmm. 2019 to like $31.45 billion, mm -hmm. $45 billion mm -hmm. by 2017, which mm -hmm. is like 12% growth for annual, per uh, for, uh, for annual, yeah. mm -hmm. annual growth. Uh. Um, also, according to Bloomberg <laughs> New Energy Finance, there are like 75,000 buses in the United States mm -hmm. as of like 2019, mm -hmm. but they, uh, but electric vehicles only comprises of one point, the point six percent mm, less than one, which is like 450 vehicles. Mm. Um, so we see that potential market growth for electric buses is huge, is huge. Mm. and also the New York City stated that all. 5,700 buses that are operated, mm -hmm. basically fuel-based uh, vehicles will be trans transformed to um, mm -hmm. um, electric vehicle by 2040. Mm -hmm. Also, same with LA City, um, they are planning to uh, transform 2,700 of um, fuel, yeah, fuel fuel vehicles to electric vehicles mm -hmm. by 2030. So, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that the policy is fostering the growth of this um, electric bus market mm -hmm. in the United States mm -hmm. and. And you should see the investment opportunity in this in this sector. Mm. Um, Ninety-eight percent of the global uh, bus, like electric bus, mm. um, 
are operated in China. So basically, China is are like manufactured in yeah, China. Yeah, basically yeah. manufacturing and, mm. and operating in mm. China. Okay. And BYD Motors is, is like one of the major company pro- provide producing mm. electric bus mm. in the world. Um, top manufacturer all are like Proterra, which is unlisted as of now, BYD Motors, and NFI Group. Um, but like contrary to uh to the you know the very promising outlook mm-hmm, by mm-hmm. from the um, green power motors, mm-hmm. White Diamond Research has stated that it's actually not worth it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the price target is actually one point five mm-hmm. one dollar, mm-hmm. basically one dollar mm-hmm. fifty cent. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, their claim is based on the mm-hmm. fact that the electric bus is not made in America; it's mm-hmm. actually made in China. Mm-hmm. So if that's the case, uh, except for California, South mm-hmm. Dakota becomes impossible for the rest of the states. And also the FDA funding. Yeah, FDA funding. Mm-hmm. And the second issue is that the Phoenix Motor cars mm-hmm. is pretty much the same thing as the um, same as the Green Power Motors, mm-hmm. uh, which is eligible for Ursa by America status. Mm-hmm. But they are sold at uh, twenty-seven million dollars by this other company, mm-hmm. which is equivalent to like ninety percent reduction of the value for GP. Mm-hmm. So this is where they come from when they stated that the target price target is one point five dollars. Yeah. So. Um, the basis of their claim is mm-hmm. that if you look at the pictures on the left, it, it's uh, manufactured in China. Mm-hmm. And if you look at the picture on the right, this is the what's supposed to be the flagship EV product Star. of uh, yeah. Uh, Green Power, yeah. which is EV Star. Mm-hmm. And, it, and, and what their claim is that it's not actually produced mm-hmm. in the United States. It's actually mm-hmm. like just they um, import from China mm-hmm. the entire product mm-hmm. and then they just change the logo, logo. And, and the signs mm-hmm. in front of it. So if you get to make a decision mm-hmm. uh, to get the left and look mm-hmm. at the right mm-hmm. and if you think this is that's the case mm-hmm. then uh, they might lose the Buy America compliant uh, status. Mm-hmm. Okay. They look very similar. I mean, yeah, yeah they look almost the almost the same. same. <laughs> so it's not actually assembled in the United States. It's right. actually just they are what they're doing. Made is just in China, it's imported to US. Yeah, uh. and the price is very cheaper in mm. China as well. Mm. So uh, this is what's um, the picture inside of their um, like storage, uh. and, and then that's their basis of their argument is that it's not manufacturing in China. It's actually just um, basically it's like. The place where they just store the inventory from China and mm-hmm. they change the local products mm-hmm. and then resell it in the United States. Mm-hmm. This is not the uh, Buy America compliance status. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's their bearish case by okay. White Diamond Research, mm-hmm. which I think brings valid point for mm-hmm. for their research paper. Mm-hmm. So I took a look at their balance sheet provided by the company, mm-hmm. and if you look at the uh, total asset, it's um, forty three million dollar. A worth of total asset mm-hmm. and like mostly in cash mm-hmm. and the fact that, that they have a lot of cash is because of the stock issuance in 2020 mm-hmm. and I'll go over it later mm-hmm. they don't have much of a debt but if you look at the asset side of this mm-hmm. uh, balance sheet mm-hmm. like a property and equi- equipment mm-hmm. it's only 1.6 million so this is mm-hmm. where I kind of agree with the white diamond research paper mm-hmm. you know I don't think that manufacturing Equipment mm. will only worth one point six million dollars. <laughs> so if you look at the income statement as well, gross uh. profit is like one point five million as of this year. Mm. Compared to last year, the revenue has declined because of coronavirus. Mm. But I also look at if you look at the rest of the story in income statement, they don't have R and D sort of anything. Like they, I don't see where they're they're like doing the research or development mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. electric bus vehicle. Maybe so, they don't. So if, if they don't, uh, then how do they produce bus? Um, I think uh, it kind of in lines with the um, the white diamond research paper. <laughs> uh, stock movement has gone up like a lot recently, from twenty dollars to thirty now. Mm-hmm. And um, major summary of the um, the, quarterly. the quarterly report is mm-hmm. that the, there's been the uplisting mm-hmm. stock issuance in mm-hmm. two thousand twenty. So mm-hmm. it used to be issued in. The stock was actually listed in, in Canada, mm. but now they're li- getting listed in, in your uh, stock at the NASDAQ. Mm. So that's what they call it uplisting. So it's, they are basically transferring those stocks from to, Canada uh, to, to the US. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. And then they uh, added new shares this year at mm. the amount of $37.0 million. This is why they have a lot of cash. Mm. The company is still at, at the status of that lost company, gross profit margin at 31%. So mm. this is very profitable mm-hmm. company. Mm-hmm. Revenue growth, as I mentioned, um, from last year to this year, 48% has declined because mm-hmm. of coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Um, the If you look at the SSI, the, the, there's mostly, they have no debt, mm-hmm. but um, they have issued the stock. Mm-hmm. So I think that for them to perhaps expand mm-hmm. into the United States market, mm-hmm. I think that uh, 
potentially new stagnations will be only mm. five options for the for mm -hmm. the financing of the company. Mm. Uh, something th that seems to be pro of mm. this uh, mm. investment is that Joe Biden's clean energy mm. policy mm. can foster the growth mm. of the electric vehicle market in the United States. Mm. Like you know how Tesla is going to benefit from mm. this. Mm. And this is the only listed stock that you can trade in terms of the electric bus market. Mm, right. So I guess this is why the stock has gone up a lot mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. uh, cons, um, White Diamond Research Paper seems to be, mm -hmm. the their bearish case seems to be, mm -hmm. you know, it just seems to be validated by those some of the points that they've mentioned mm -hmm. and the, some of the pictures that mm -hmm. they've suggested. Mm -hmm. So, and also, we, I mean, you look at the other side of the balance sheet, um, it seems to be that they don't have a factory in in the United States. Yeah, it's not it's not like a hundred percent uh ensured that the uh the the claims made by White Diamond Research is a hundred percent true. But but uh you, when you if you think about the Nicola case, just a few months ago, uh it seems that it's it may be uh, valid uh for this company as well. Yeah. Mm. So I I just wanna. The reason that we brought up the white diamond mm. research paper is mm. that uh, you don't have to rush into this stuff. Mm. I mean, the way we suggested that there's there's huge potential growth in mm. this mm. sector, mm. you get to make the decision with other company. Mm. I mean, if you if you think that you should wait till Proterra to be listed, I think mm. that's mm. going to be better decision than mm. perhaps perhaps this company, mm. because uh, you know you got to have some technology mm. to really mm. uh, be sustainable in this uh, in this market. Mm. If you look at the Wall Street's analyst rating, it's at uh, $28.5, um, which is lower than what the current price is. Mm -hmm. So, And there's been four analysis, an analysts that gave this buy uh, opinion. Mm -hmm. But um, but for our channel, I think I, don't, I wouldn't suggest this stock for mm -hmm. anyone who's watching this. Mm -hmm. Please don't rush okay. buy and buy this stock. <laughs> yeah. And uh, please subscribe to our channel. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to, to the reason I brought up the green powered motor companies that um, people sh are rushing into this mm -hmm. concept of clean energy related mm -hmm. stocks mm -hmm. and it seems to be at the bubble territory mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. and if you're looking into something that seems to be like viable option for electric market um, you should make watch this video and make your own decision mm -hmm. and also go ahead and look at the uh, white diamond research paper mm -hmm. I, I will uh, give you the link mm -hmm. you can just click and read there and uh, Knowledge or then read their logics mm -hmm. and make a decision. So do your like minimum minimum homework, homework. yeah before you make investment decision with this company. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that this company is bad. I'm not the financial advisor. Mm -hmm. You get to make your own decision, but still, mm -hmm. that that's that's it, what we want to bring. Yeah, it's better to be cautious. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't rush into this. Mm -hmm. thing. So yeah, please subscribe to our channel and mm -hmm. thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you. Thank See you, you next week. Bye. Bye.